Wow, look at this thing. This thing is so huge. I don't think I've seen a non that's this big, at least in a restaurant around here in Southern California. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Orange County in the city of Tustin because I'm gonna be checking out one of the most rockin' Indian restaurants in town. Behind me is India Kitchen. This is one of the highest rated Indian restaurants that you're gonna find anywhere in Orange County. And they do have a very long standing buffet for $17.95, runs every day from 11 to 2.30. So I encourage you to stick all the way to the end of this episode, especially if you love buffets and Indian food, because I'm gonna show it to you all here at one of the most magnificent restaurants that you can find in OC. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I post these food and travel videos weekly, you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading into India Kitchen. Oh yeah, here for early lunch, and I'm gonna get the buffet while still very fresh. So this restaurant has been here for 10 years. It combines Northern and Southern Indian foods with Indo-Chinese influences. And they have this buffet running for 10 continuous years. $17.95, you get over a dozen choices, which includes the hot foods, desserts, fruits. It looks all amazing. Just to show you how this Indian buffet is laid out. So that's the buffet station. And to the right is where all the utensils and plates are. Uh-huh, self-serve, pretty awesome. As well as some of these bowls. And it's a good thing that they do label these so that you know exactly what you're eating. So beginning with some plain rice, Indian basmati rice. I always love this. Oh yeah, it goes good with the saucier foods. And then there we got some vegetable samosa, which is a vegetarian appetizer. And so it's basically crispy turnover stuffed with spiced potatoes. I'll show you in a bit. And that's vegetable pakora, which is another veggie appetizer. So mixed vegetables deep fried with spiced batter. And then what do we got here? Dal makani, vegetable dish. Cream lentils, delicately spiced. Ooh, that looks so good. And I came early, that's why everything is well stocked. And then up there is palak paneer, which is spinach cooked with Indian cottage cheese. Yes, I do like this as well. Oh, so exciting. And then down here, we got the shahi paneer, which is also another vegetable dish. Cubes of cheese cooked in creamy sauce. So yeah, that's all the cubes of cheese. Isn't that so cool? Oh yeah. And then up there, we got aloo gobi, which is a vegetable dish. Cauliflower and potato cooked with spices. You see, very vegetable friendly at this restaurant. Moving on to some more rice. So this is peas pilau, a vegetable dish. Rice cooked with peas, herbs, and spices, yes. And then, ooh, what is that? So that is the veggie manchurian, which is Indo-Chinese vegetable dish. So veggie dumplings and a gravy of ginger, garlic, and soy sauce. And then down here, that looks like chicken curry. So this is a non-vegetable dish, okay. Meats, mildly spiced cooked in tomato and onion sauce, delicious. And then up here, one of my favorites, tandoori chicken. Yeah, non-vegetable too. So it's chicken leg marinated and cooked in clay oven. Fantastic, I'm gonna get that. And then down here, we have chicken tikka masala. Yeah, you gotta have this in every buffet, right? Oh, oh, I'm salivating, look at that. So that's boneless chicken cooked in mildly spiced gravy. Oh yeah. And then up there, we got goat curry. Ooh, fancy, they got goat here too. Okay, so it's goat cooked in tomato and onion sauce. So this is the condiment section. We got some raita, very creamy, almost looks like a ranch sauce. Those are some delicious pickles. And that is tamarind. And that one is mint. And that one is tomato. And we got coconut. And if you want something very healthy, they do have your basic greens, like the salad vegetable mix here. Uh, no big surprise, looks very healthy and good. And then we got some fruits right there, okay. 
And I also noticed this hiding at the end of the buffet line. So we got some other condiments, like we got some jalapenos, red onions, got some limes. All right, doesn't hurt. Rice for sure, definitely gonna need that for like the curries and the masalas. Okay, I'll try this, why not? It looks really good. And some paneer, uh-huh, you bet. And just to let you know, they do have an a la carte menu here, so any other times from the buffet, you're gonna have to order out of this. And I'm pretty surprised, it's a pretty big restaurant. Uh, the seating is very spacious, they have a private events room, they do takeout, they do catering, they have online ordering systems where you can pretty much order from any online service. So yeah, definitely a lot going on here. So this is not a Vegas style buffet. There's only about a dozen choices. I think I can eat most of them. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try as many as I can and I'll tell you which ones are the ones that you should definitely eat. Let's try some of that dal makhani, all right. I haven't had Indian food in a while, so that to me is, it's like, it's such a welcome into my mouth. And then right next to it is the palak paneer. Oh yeah, it's like their version of a cream spinach. If they didn't have any meat up there, I would be very happy just eating the vegetable dishes. The country of India makes some of the best vegetable based dishes out there in the world. I mean, everything is so bursting with flavor. It's like I could totally live on it. No, I seriously could. Could you guys? But look at this other paneer. This is the shahi paneer. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna get two pieces. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, so much cheese in my mouth. If you guys like cheese, you're really gonna enjoy it here, especially with all of this cream sauce. As you can tell, a lot of it is cream-based. And if you like that cream-based type of texture, then you're really gonna like this buffet, I can tell you. And with your samosa, you could eat it by itself, but this is where the condiments come in. And I would recommend the mint or the tamarind or get both, just like I did. It's crispy on the outside, so it's a very big piece of appetizer. You could probably get full if you eat like three or four of these. In there is stuffed with all the veggies, including the potatoes. And I really love potatoes, especially if it's like a filling. But I wanna see how the tamarind changes the flavor. Wow, that one's good too. If you guys have more of a sweet tooth, then obviously you should go with the tamarind. But I think the mint is pretty killer too. It's definitely the way to go. Ooh, and aloo gobi, something I haven't had in a while too. Yes, potatoes and cauliflower. Oh yeah, gotta have your veggies. And what I notice about a lot of these dishes is that since it's very spice driven, you're gonna taste that tingly in your mouth. So we're not talking about like spices in your mouth is gonna be burning, but uh, it does have a little bit of a kick. And I think that's pretty exciting actually. Look at this, this big piece of garlic naan also comes with a meal. Oh, don't forget this. If they forget, remind them to give it to you. It's like, you gotta have this always with your Indian meal. Oh, you just gotta, what, like tear it off or something? Or maybe eat it like a big slice of New York pizza? <laughs> mm, that's so good. Yeah, you definitely taste the garlic on top of this. Actually, it's a fairly thin piece of naan. Because the other ones I've had in the past were a little bit fluffier, almost kind of like a pita bread. But still, I mean, any naan is good with me. Wow, it totally works. You see, you could really have fun at an Indian buffet. I mean, it's just bursting with flavor in so many different directions. I'm impressed with this restaurant so far. And guys, I would recommend you get here pretty early because once it hits about 12 or 12.30, even during the weekdays, it gets pretty crowded in here. So you know, this is the spot you gotta be at for Indian buffet. I mean, I'm not complaining so far. It tastes great and it's very affordable. I'm always down for that. The batter around it is kind of like that batter that you would find in a lot of the Americanized Chinese dishes, like orange chicken. But inside it's filled with veggies, so no meat in this one at all. I know a lot of people say that they make the best chicken tikka masala, but I also heard a lot of great things about the way they make it here too. So I'm always excited to try this. 
Okay, very tasty. Chicken is very tender. That cream sauce is classic taste. Seriously, loaded up with basmati rice. Rice, along with chicken tikka masala, is like all ultimate comfort food. Even if I didn't have these other dishes and I just had rice and chicken tikka masala, it's like my rice bowl right there. My dream Indian rice bowl. Why not also use some of that garlic naan for the chicken tikka masala sauce, right? Oh yeah. I'm loving it. I haven't been to an Indian buffet in a long time, so as you can tell, I'm very happy to be here. Well, I do love my curry chicken, so obviously I have to try this one too, right? Yo, oh, it's so tender. It's like, I don't even need a knife for this. Very classic tasting Indian curry. So it's not like the curry that you'll find in Japanese restaurants or Thai restaurants, totally different. I mean, uh, I'm, Indian curry is like not my favorite type of curry, but I still enjoy it whenever I see it in a buffet. For sure, I'm gonna get it. Now here's something I haven't had in a while too, the tandoori chicken, yes. Every chicken dish that I've had so far at this buffet, all tender, really good. Before I could say anything else about the coating or the seasoning, really tender meat. And it's also pretty smoky too. But this is kind of like India's version of barbecue chicken. If you've never had tandoori chicken, you should get it because it is very delicious. And I know a lot of people come to buffets just to get this item. And then down here, this is where we get to some desserts. So we got the Jagar Ka Halwa. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it's a vegetable dessert. So it's carrot and milk pudding with cardamom. Looks so exotic. And then up there, we have the gulab jamun, which is vegetable dessert. Deep fried dumplings of dry milk in honey syrup. Ooh, more desserts. Uh, mango pudding, vegetable dessert. So it's mango pulp with mixed fruits. And that one is something, uh, have I had this one before? The kheer, which is rice cooked in sweetened milk. So it looks like they do have some dessert options there that I've not seen before in other Indian buffets. And I decided to skip on the fruits and the salad because after all, it's a buffet, so you have to kind of be a wise eater. There's only so much stomach space that I have. Wow, never had anything like that before. So the carrot has been pureed, I think. And I do taste that milky flavor inside with the cardamom flavor. I've had this one multiple times in the past, but every time I see it, I always get it because I love it. Wow. The outside texture is really nice, like just slightly crispy and inside, very spongy. And it's sweet too. Now the gulab jamun is something you cannot miss out in the buffet. That is pretty spectacular. But then here's also something that I never say no to. It's always really good. That one's pretty good too. So the rice pudding is not as sweet as the gulab jamun, but if you like something that's a little bit more milder, uh, creamier, then yeah, that's the one you gotta end out with. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want my opinion on what are the foods you definitely need to get here, uh, other than the chicken tikka masala, which is a given, the aloo is really good here. You know, the cauliflower with the potatoes. The paneers are pretty killer. I mean, you can't miss out on that. Even the samosas, seriously, just mind blowing. Uh, it's really one of the most affordable and best buffets you're gonna find anywhere in Orange County. So remember that India Kitchen, if you wanna try some awesome buffet food, if you wanna do your catering, dine-in, takeout, have a place to get drinks, you name it. I'm gonna get finished here, but you know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.